something. And Playmaster can go track the Knight of Army. Tinker is out. And, oh, the, the Knight of them have nearly enough dots. Look at this, about seven dots right here. Eight dots. And one more is coming. So an Orc is going to creep jack this. Let's see. Oh, Orc got the creep and the item. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, no, the Demon Hunter got the item, but the Blade Master got the creep kill. So the Demon Hunter is pretty far behind. Demon Hunter really needs to be level 3 when, before they're heading to this. A shockwave shot gets all the freaking units. And Dots dying left and right. Um, why this replay lasts so much longer, I have no idea. Um, anyway, maybe the Orc has just lost a bunch of his units. Here's a, finally some Cyclone. And more to uh, dispel uh, to uh, to uh, get away, to get the fairy fire off and the uh, force of cyclone. Nicely micro by the orc. Oh my god! Demon hunter gets completely surrounded. Of, although one of the surround spots is on the tinker. Demon hunter tracks the potion greater healing. Still getting focused down by the orc. By the orc, orc is going to have to staff the demon hunter out and uh, leave the rest of the army vulnerable. There's the tinker is gonna go down. Orc, yeah. There's no way orc is gonna get a hero kill out of this. Yep. Um, yeah, the demon hunter, <laughs> the demon hunter just came back and gets pissed off at the at the demon. Uh, oh, there's a. Oh, what, I wonder what the orc is doing here. Orc is gonna lose all the units. I think he needs to micro all the units back to uh, save them damage. Although his torn chieftain is pretty much a ground uh, uh, at this point. Um, the beastmaster is gonna tank a lot of damage against the flame master. He's gonna get taken down. Stop preservation on the ground. I think he was trying to pass to the to, to, to the demon hunter, but demon hunter has already full. Uh, item spots, so that so the stop for preservation gets left on the ground. Torn chieftain pick it up. <laughs> oh god! Oh man! Oh jeez! This is a funny replay right here. And uh, demon hunter is going to have to retreat. Uh, the one thing, uh, if you want to make the orc more imbalanced, if you want, if you want to make the blade master more imbalanced, is to give the other hero a staff so he can be staffed back. <laughs> and I wonder, okay. The way to do it is to give the okay. It's Blade Master and staff the Torn Chieftain back to do some okay. I um, I, I had in mind when I have a different scenario in mind when the Torn Chieftain staff the Blade Master back, and the Blade Master can do some shopping um, because of the one walk and boost of speed he can run pretty fast. But uh, Torn Chieftain has the endurance aura and the boost of speed, so he can run just pretty much as fast as one, uh, Blade Master. Not uh, not as fast, but all uh, close. And the Torn Chieftain is the one needs mana, so he can uh, uh, okay, drop the Gauntlet of uh, Strength to the Blade Master. Uh, Blade Master pretty stacked, I wonder what the Orc is trying to do here. Uh, it's gonna hit the, uh, Blade Master has to drop a something, and calls attack, plus 21 at attack on the Blade Master. <coughs> I wonder what the hell Nida was going to do at this point. I would have GG'd right, at, right then there when I when I pass a staff <laughs> to the pretty much to the Torn Chieftain. Here you go, here's a staff for you. You're welcome. <laughs> My gracious gift to you for not attacking me anymore. Uh, for not attacking me. Sobe Mask! So the I think the Torn Chieftain might as well just drop something. Uh, okay, drop the Ring of Terrorism plus 2 and attack all the items he doesn't want. Because he, do, he doesn't want to uh, get too much, uh, give the opponent too much advantage in the next fight. I thought he's going to do some Cyclone against the Blade Master. <coughs> So the Blade Master can be surrounded, but I don't think the Blade Master is going anywhere. Between the Potion of Resident Reliability and the Staff of Preservation, I don't think the Blade Master is going to die e ever. <laughs> Put Torn Chieftain is going to die before the Blade Master does. 50 food fight, we're going to see the... or uh, Normally 50 food fight in this matchup, Orc is the one uh, in the... Oh, nice shockwave, Orc is the one in disadvantage. He gets uh, Raider Focus down, Blade Master Cycloned. Um, let's see, Doss is gonna run, run away from the Torn Chieftain, another Shockwave gets off, and another Shockwave in the making, so the words of the arcade, Demon Hunter finally gets off a Mana Burn on the Torn Chieftain. Torn Chieftain can chuck this portion of mana, Torn Chieftain's tracking this freaking Doss, and the Doss is gonna get uh, ensnared if the Shockwave can do it, the, all the Doss in prime position to do a Shockwave on, I think the Orc is distracted by these dying raiders. Um, you can chuck the potion of mana and get four dots over here. Mana burner on the torn chieftain and uh, one more dude. Why didn't you chuck that point? There we go. There's another shockwave. Gets the pocket factory two dots. And torn chieftain has to pop the potion of vulnerability. And the uh, blade master can just uh, do some more damage. Oh, staff for nice raider staff to save them raiders. 
Okay, but level two level four heroes, not elves is at three 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 to two. Wow, even worse than I thought. Careful with the AI mana burn. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, more raiders are gonna queue up at the fountain. I think Night Elf won't let the orc journey freely. I think he's gonna have to do some uh, harassment to keep the orc fighting this. Let's see, another staff can get the Blade Master free, or he's gonna pop the score of uh, score of speed, um, sc speed, speed, uh, uh, speed squirrel, and he's gonna uh, reposition his army around the fountain health. Blade Master can a lot of damage, and Blade Master is gonna focus on the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter has a portion of invulnerability, so he's gonna be okay. Um, <coughs> Nice dispel to free the demon hunter. De oh, I'm sorry, blame master. Blame master is gonna come back to regenerate. While the demon hunter has an old venom on him, so he's gonna be uh, doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Both first hero get staffed, and I think he's screwed. Twin chieftain is gonna be cyclone, I believe. Oh, uh, oh my god! Oh, the night elf has freaking fair fire on auto cast. That's why his thoughts never had enough mana to do cyclone. That's a big mistake by the night elf. Oh god, never ever auto cast all your fairy fire. I wonder why the blizzard still didn't make that ability not auto casting just like raised dead from the from the ne necromancers. It used to be necromancers came out of the temple of the damned would, would not have will have the auto cast on the raise of the dead and I think people get pissed off because they they will do a raise of the dead rather than bat right off the bat from the graveyard <coughs> and uh and uh um the, they'll drain all the mana off the off the necromancers. That's why Blizzard changed it. I wonder why they haven't changed this uh, fairy fire all cast. Here comes the torn, um, not torn chieftain, the demon hunter. And let's see. If, um, another thing about this build from the night elf is really economical. It costs a lot more, a lot less than the orc tier two units. Uh, demon hunter gets focused down right away. If demon hunter has a potion of healing, and I think one of the heroes has a staff, the beastmaster has a staff and a TP. So it's really wrong to focus on heroes, really focus on units. Although there's too many freaking uh, units to focus. Oh, sorry about that. Fo too many units to be focused on. So um, um, I think two two spare walkers died. One here, and I killed two dots died in the meantime. Three, sp uh, and I think that's a raider corpse. So orc is going to retreat despite all the advantages he gained. And blade master he really needs to be abused a little more often if orc is going to get back to this game. His front door is being uh, threatened. <coughs> Blade Master with all these items, he really needs to do something here. Uh, his soul is one of his certain abilities, so, can, so he can get a uh, uh, potion of and vulnerability on him. That's not a bad idea. All these fire fires on the orc units, watch. Night Elf is going to spot where the orc is. I have a, <laughs> I have the uh, Fog of War on. And just to look at Night Elf's vision, the entire freaking field almost. And uh, orc is going to sneak in expansion at 3 o'clock, hoping the Night Elf doesn't see it. And uh, let's see if let's see if the Night Elf finally catch up with it. Not a color, he's creeped, so so the Night Elf is, uh, is able to counter expand it whenever he wants to. Um, Mana Baron of Torn Chieftain, Torn Chieftain has one more, I believe, one more shockwave on him once he chucked the potion of mana. Uh, there we go. Uh, not uh, not so good of uh, shockwave, but it will do uh, do some damage uh, on the freaking DOS. Let's see the. Torn Chieftain is going to tank a lot of damage. Oh, oh man. Every, every hero hit a hit a level, I think. Every hero on the battle hit a level. Oh no, except the Tinker. Blade Master hit a level, Torn Chieftain hit a level, Beast Master and the Demon Hunter hit a level at the same time. Pretty epic. And the f Oh god. And Torn Chieftain tanks so much damage. I wonder what he's doing. Um, yeah, keep that Demon Hunter away from you while the Blade Master is raising all kinds of hell on the back of Night Elf Army. Um, the Raiders really needs to get out of this. Um, the Blade Master has to be Cyclones uh, continuously to avoid getting the Tinker killed. Level 3 one walk? Huh. That's, oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, one thing I like about level 3 one walk is over anything else, over that 100, 100 uh, damage, 100 uh, critical strike, is the last. Level 3 one walk lasts years, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure all the network orc players are gonna agree with me. The level three one walk lasts about <laughs> what, like uh, 30 seconds or something ridiculous, um, 40, 45 or something ridiculous, a long time. So the blame master can do a long, can be be invisible for a very long time before the night elf realize where he is. Raider has a fairy fire on him, so he's gonna be a, 
uh, just an open target for the entire Night Elf army. Here we go. Night Elf is going to regenerate over, over here anyway, so might as well just uh, um, kill the greater. Looks like Night Elf is going to try to, uh, I'm sorry, Orc is trying to get this Drake down. Although you didn't even snare this buddy. Oh, oh I and lost a Sparrow Walker in the meantime. I wonder what the Orc is looking. You need to even snare this dragon every uh, two and a half seconds or three seconds. He did get this.